When it comes to Greek yogurt, we may think that the authentic version is made of cow's milk and is strained of its own liquid to reach the perfect thick and creamy consistency. Well, none of this is actually true. Real Greek yogurt of the kind made not in factories but in villages like here in Floka near Olympia has never been strained and probably never will. Here yogurt is made with full fat ship's milk. This rich milk together with a combination of time and temperatures is going to give us a yogurt that is already tart and creamy in its own pot without the need to be strained at all. It all starts with that fresh ship's milk. Drink some it of it. Smells this. strong, huh? Yes. Wow, yeah, there's a lot of fat there. It's thick. Yes. It has a little bit of tanginess. Like you said, it's not sweet. It's a bit yes, acid. Yes, yes, yes. Yogurt at Anthony's Dairy starts with one day old cold milk. His technician, Thanasis, heats it up to 90 degrees Celsius, waits one hour, and then transfers it into small pots. Although it looks simple, gauging your strength with this pump is actually very difficult. Oh, it's warm, huh? Yeah, thank you. Like that? Do it, press it, slowly. It's super complicated because it's very, very sensitive. And it's also super warm. It's not too complicated, yeah. but it has uh, small secrets. Yeah. As <laughs> every job, as sure. everything. What, what is the difference between making, putting yogurt in like a plastic one versus no, uh, no, this no. bowl? No, 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 it's not a, it's the same yogurt. Uh, it's, uh, it has to do with the look. With the tradition. <laughs> yes, it looks more tradition. If you look carefully, you will notice that Thanasis is not filling the pots to the brim. He is leaving a little room for what Antonis calls the powder. It's made of old, broken yogurt that is 20 or even 30 days old, mixed with some fresh milk. It's added to ferment the yogurt, a bit like sourdough. Thanasis uses an even smaller pump to add the powder. And yes, the smaller pump is even harder to use than the previous one. Thanasis has to put only 5 milligrams in every pot, so I won't even try using it this time. He adds the powder from the side of the pot to preserve the crust at the top. The way that uh, Thanasis uh, use is the same way that my mother, my wife's mother, was making the yogurts 50 years ago. This is the authentic yogurt. So yeah, actually you can see it already formed a little bit of a film, even though it's been yes, here yeah, yeah, only yes, for this like one. 10 mm -hmm. minutes. Now we'll close the door and uh, we'll turn on the heat uh, from 45 to 50 degrees. And we are going to let it uh, for three hours. When the doors are open three hours later, a crust has formed on the surface of the yogurt. That is the butter fat present in the milk whereas the liquid whey now sits at the bottom. It's ready, as strong we want for the time. Every yogurt is different. Not all pots turn into yogurt. In this one here, the powder didn't work. As Antonis moves the pots out of the fridge, he has to be careful not to move them too much because the liquid whey from the bottom of the pot can surface and spoil the yogurt. The only one that can handle a bit of wiggling for the camera is this 17 kilo tub that Antonis will turn into tzatziki. Although at this step it is important that the butter fat at the top and the liquid whey at the bottom stay separate. That doesn't mean that the liquid whey needs to be strained and taken away. The whey is sour and the butter fat is sweet. As the yogurt keeps fermenting at room temperature in its pot, the two will slowly combine. We open the window, we open the door, and all this fresh air works like a natural air condition. Oh, all right, yeah. The temperature goes down naturally. Believe me, this is something that uh, not many people can uh, see, okay? Yeah, well, because you normally have a yogurt yes. from, uh, from the fridge. You see it, as we move it, it's not moved very easy, it's strong. Too. Yeah. So what does fresh, warm yogurt taste like? Hmm. It's almost like baby cream. No, it's, yeah. like it's not like a feeling on your mouth that mm -hmm. you're used to. Because it's warm cream. And warm we're not, cream. Yeah, we're not uh, used to eating warm mm -hmm. cream. 
You ah. see, you see the juices. So this is the way, the liquid way in the milk. And this is the one that normally is taken away, you know, when oh, you make strained milk. Tragic. A small 200 gram pot of Anthony's sheep's milk yogurt contains 6% fat and 6% protein, both of which sometimes rise as high as 8% depending on the weather and what the sheep forage. These percentages of fat and protein are double what cow's milk yogurt is made of and can only be matched by straining out the whey in cow's milk to increase the volume of butter fat. Straining means you need more milk, so more fat to have the same volume of yogurt. Today's batch of milk gave Anthony's 280 pots of yogurt. After resting at room temperature for one hour, they will have a 15-day shelf life if stored in the fridge. We had the milk, you see? Oh! <laughs> this is a final product. When the yogurt is cold, the taste of the crust on top and the creamy part below it will be different. This is sweet. Mm. All the butter. And it's very tart yeah. as well. Like he has, it's not sweet like at all. And this is really... Do you understand the difference? Uh, yeah, 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 for sure. And this is this kind of milk compared to cow's milk or yes, like yes, strained yes. yogurt. It, this is much it, more the tart. Inside. Mm. Wow, it has a completely different taste. Huh? Do you see it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a little bit sweet, but um, not sugary. To add an extra layer of sweetness, Anthony's lets me try the yogurt topped with some grape jam made by his mother. We also tried spread on bread. Mm. You know nice. what the, the doctors say? It's a full dinner. Yeah, I'm gonna send some pictures to my doctor. Bread <laughs> and uh, yogurt. We take the milk, any kind of milk they will give us. That's why sometimes the yogurt is stronger, fatter, more proteins. This is what Mother Nature gives to us. We have to work with this and we will make the product. With whatever you have, yeah. And we will see if it's strong or not.